and I want to really thank everybody for the support, commenting on the channel, uh, the likes, the shares, subscribing, because we passed 7,000 subscribers yesterday. And I very much appreciate every single person. But even at that, on the channel, when uh, we put out videos, about 30% uh, that are watching are actually subscribers. So to the other 70% hit that subscribe button it really helps and uh, The way the YouTube algorithm is working now uh, If you watch to the end of the video It gets suggested more to other viewers and then it gets shared and the channel grows bigger and uh, You know we, it's We put more time into doing better videos. So that's it. So appreciate all that we're working right now. I'll talk more about it. Maybe this video, you'll see me talk about it some more. Or maybe it'll be next video. Yes! So here's the deal. We're going to, we've ordered more cameras. We've ordered some equipment and I'm building some things that are gonna allow us to do almost nonstop time lapse of the pond build. Plus we're gonna be able to fly the drones except for changing batteries. Uh, gonna be able to fly those the entire time that uh, that the pond build's going on to so capture everything. It's gonna be a ton of editing when it's all done, but I think we're gonna turn it into a mini movie and we're gonna do some more lives, especially if we can set it up and get some better signals so the video quality's better. Uh, working on that too, so gonna be a lot of stuff. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be off the chain. So stick with us. All right, back out here today. We went on a little mini vacation up to Ocean City, Maryland. So I'm gonna see what's going on and catch up on uh, a few things from the last post, some questions and comments and all that stuff. So we'll go over that. See uh, a lot of burning got done. Now he's over there in that area. That's the last uh, big area to stump. Let's get over here a little bit. So as you can see, starting down, whoop, down this hill and over to about that tree over there that we saved and over to the tree line and over to the brush pile is a big bowl. That's more than the five acres we're talking about doing. Um, but we'll see what gets flagged out. It kind of humps over. So we're gonna bring dirt from the pond and fill this up and get more land area over here. I see you built up another barricade. Yep. I'm gonna keep your, keep your distance. That's smart. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna say you can't. Yeah. Don't challenge me. Don't challenge you. <laughs> I was looking from up there on the ridge. It looks like the pond could go all the way over there. Uh -huh. We'll lay it out. Yeah. He's tired of me asking. Did he miss me while I was gone? Do what? Did he miss me? It was peaceful. Huh. I'm not sure how I take that answer. Just sit back here digging up stuff. I see that. See, this area is really wet too, right? Wet. This area is pretty wet too, right? Kind of wet right now, yeah. All right. All right. So he's just going to stump away, work on that. one of the last bur big burn piles left. Right here, we're putting a bunch of dirt too. So dirt will raise this up. Dirt raises that up where I was talking about over there. Pond in the middle. So we end up with, you know, we'll see, probably four, you know, five acres or so of pond. And we gain another 
two and a half, three acres of usable pasture, hopefully. Plus, I mean, what we cleared, I'm saying where it was in gullies. All that rain we got, and uh, yeah. I mean, it came up a little bit. Once we fix this water level situation though, which we will do, and it's all back up and everything, uh, we're gonna do some things for getting the water cleared up. So follow along, we'll have information on that. And, and I see now I need to go over there and check the feeder, see where we're at on the food situation. And you can see, I mean, the fish are still really active though, and seem to be all right. Not a lot has changed on the barn project. Ordered some LVLs. Um, for those that don't know what that is, it's the laminated beams uh, that are specially engineered, engineered beams, also what they're called, to um, not deflect. Uh, so we'll tie the roof structure into that. There's two, they're gonna come off and go two they're gonna come off and go lengthwise this way and those will be uh, like I said for supporting the roof structure so it won't and any snow load stuff like that so that's gonna happen uh, and the wood so we're waiting on materials is the short version of what's happening out here what do you think why are you wearing Crocs why you got point my Crocs out on the video sure. all right here's the deal on the Crocs I was anti-crop for a long time. Now I'm pro-crop. In fact, I'm aware every time I can, no matter what, because, you know, if I look funny, well, that just goes along with the rest of me, and they're comfortable, and squishy when I walk, and when I get them all dirty out here and stuff, I just wash them off. Why aren't you wearing Crocs is the question. So look at your shoes. Like shoes. Yeah, they probably stink now and they're dirty. If you had crops, you could just wash them off with the hose and be done with it. Maybe that's what I'll get you for Christmas. Waste some money. Don't worry, he'll come around one day. Might be in 30 years, but he'll be a crop man. Crop man. Oh, -na 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 -na. Crop man. Okay. No. All right, we'll see. All right, ducks always like to find places to hide where they're out of the sun and out of where hawks can swoop in on them. So let's see. So last time we asked for duck names, we start naming the ducks. So now we're gonna start voting on them. <laughs> okay, we got Betsy, Let's Quack 18, Beaky Good, Billy Bell, Jammer, Mr. Quackers, Shirley, Tucker, and Elvis. All right, so vote in the comments. Uh, if I can figure out how to do a poll, there might be a poll up there, but maybe we'll wait till next video for the poll. Let's see, if you got some other name suggestions, throw them out there. So the three on the right are Blue Swedish. That's a Khaki Campbell. That's our original Blue Swedish, and that's Butterball. We're missing one. Where's Hunchback? Oh, there you are. See, Hunchback knows his name. He got attacked by a hawk early on, but lived and there you go. All right, so yeah, comment. Let's come up with some names. We'll have some chickens to name too. There always be animal naming on the farm. One question we got is if we were growing the ducks for food, we are not. Uh, these ducks are for eggs and entertainment. We probably won't name any animals that we're slaughtering uh, for food or growing for food. Yeah, so that's water from the pond. The pond that's up front. As you can see, that's pretty clean water. It's that mud color we've been seeing color of the bottom and sides of the pond so that's what we're seeing but yeah that's not dirty at all and i mean that's been two hours since i took it and you can see the very little bit of sediment that's in it that's settled down so i've got some stuff coming to change the color of the water which also adds some good bacteria to it blah 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 and we'll see how that does Bye.